This ranking is based on the play score, a standard rating that averages gamer reviews and critic reviews. This ranking covers games published from 2004 to 2017. Opening our list of the top 50 best modern PC games of all time is Torchlight 2. This award-winning action RPG is coming back for more. The world feels bigger and badder than ever. Be the chosen hero and save the world. Choose from among its four diverse classes and go on an adventure of a lifetime with you or with your friends. Collect loot, seek the rarest treasures, and team up with your friends in fun co-op challenges. Additionally, engage in its relaxing fishing mode or order your pet to sell some of your stuff on the market. It's pretty much a better version of its original and that's why it deserves to be on this list. It has a play score of 8.83. Number 49 is Dragon Age Origins. Bioware isn't a stranger to fantastic RPGs. This first entry of their critically acclaimed Dragon Age franchise is the series pioneering take on the medieval fantasy genre. Forge your own destiny and defeat the Archdemon in an adventure so epic you'd get drawn into its world. Hire your band of memorable characters and set out in a grand journey. Its real-time RPG challenges players to think carefully before taking the enemy head-on. Aside from its deep story, the amount of detail and replay value makes the game worth buying. It is just the beginning of a great series. It has a play score of 8.84. Number 48 is The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. Before there was Yennefer, there was just Triss and Geralt. This second entry to CD Projekt Red's award-winning series takes your mind to a difficult moral compass. Return as Geralt in a journey towards a kingdom in the midst of a world-changing war. Gameplay was integrated to a seamless hack-and-slash combat compared to the first wonky animation movements. It's the first of the series to offer branching choices that affect the game's ending. Players can also import their save data to Witcher 3 and watch how their decisions affect the future of the franchise. It was praised for its deep narrative, fantastic characters, and mature content. This game has a play score of 8.84. Number 47 is Luftrausers. Set the skies aflame in Devolver Digital's retro style shoot 'em up. Select from a wide variety of over 125 customizable parts for your Rouser. Take down battleships, jets, fighter planes, and submarines in high flying action. How you conquer the skies is all up to you. Its bold aerial combat spans in over 100 different campaign missions. Uphold your aerial supremacy and be the best Rouser pilot in the world. Did we mention it has a badass soundtrack while you're shooting your enemies from the sky? It has a play score of 8.84. Number 46 is StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. One of Blizzard's crowning jewels and a well-loved classic. This game shaped the future of real-time strategy games. A sequel to 1998's Brood War, this sequel is split into three parts, namely Wings of Liberty, Heart of the Swarm, and Legacy of the Void. Even until now, the game is running pretty well with an active esports community. Choose from among their three powerful factions and stand in the middle of a galactic war. Experience the new story and improved features. It was the fastest selling game upon their release, and it was widely praised for its engaging gameplay, complex mechanics, and immersive story. Now all we have to wait for is a third StarCraft game. It has a play score of 8.85. Number 45 is Valkyria Chronicles. If war meets anime, then Sega's tactical shooter would definitely please fans of both genres. Follow a group of heroes caught in a spiral of two warring superpowers in Europa. Get to know each of their stories and embark on a grand adventure that could save their world from certain doom. The game's best feature is its tactical role-playing elements. They call it Blitz. Control a set of characters and move them around the battlefield in turn-based fashion. Your moves are limited and every move you make counts. It was highly praised due to its fantastic story, strategic gameplay, and a new beginning for the Valkyria franchise. There's so much stuff to do in this game, and it has a play score of 8.85. Number 44 is Mass Effect. Before the disaster that was Andromeda, there was Commander Shepard and his friends. Travel the galaxy and fend off vicious extraterrestrial threats in futuristic third-person shooting. This was the first entry of the critically acclaimed Mass Effect series. It's science fiction slash RPG combined. Packed with a deep story and meaningful choices, choose from a wide variety of party members and travel towards the stars to stop an incoming Reaper invasion. Upon its release, it gained a massive fan base due to its memorable characters and calibrations. It has a play score of 8.85. Number 43 is The Swapper, a science fiction slash platformer puzzle game from Facepalm Games. Step inside a derelict ship filled with a mysterious past. Uncover the deep secrets hidden beneath this abandoned machine and use a powerful gadget capable of cloning yourself into others. Get drawn into its deep and immersive tale about loss and fear. 
It's not a horror game, but the atmosphere does look like one. As a lowly scavenger, find out the truth behind the disappearance of the members, one swap at a time. And has a play score of 8.86. Number 42 is the Talos Principle. Question the very nature of your existence in Devolver Digital's award-winning puzzle game. Awaken from a very long slumber in a world filled with technological ruins and advanced machinery. Solve a number of over 120 puzzles filled with rich form and function. Embrace the beauty of its stunning world, puzzle difficulty, and complex philosophical nature. It was a hallmark of narrative excellence. Critics and gamers love the intricacies of its puzzle variety and non-linear story. Just make sure you don't ask a lot of questions after playing the game. It has a play score of 8.86. Number 41 is Plants vs. Zombies. PopCap is known for its silly ideas that actually work. We don't know what happened inside their board meeting that they realized plants fighting zombies is a good idea. Thus, the birth of Plants vs. Zombies. Follow Crazy Dave and his adorable set of superpowered floras to battle Dr. Zomboss's horde of undead. Critics and gamers were amazed by its creative goodness and humor. This tower defense game revolutionized PopCap forever, opening new doors to its series. It included a hit sequel, Garden Warfare, and other merchandise. It has a play score of 8.88. Number 40 is Inside. Playdead's next entry to their monochromatic and atmospheric side-scrolling games takes you to an Orwellian-inspired world. Follow a boy escaping from the clutches of a sinister government and run away from deadly hounds, experimental mermaids, and mind-controlled security guards. Get drawn into its haunting dystopia and use of various mechanisms to solve their complex puzzles. It might take some time to figure things out, but once you know it, it feels like you're discovering something great. It was very well received due to its resonating theme, clever puzzles, and mind-boggling ending. It has a play score of 8.88. Number 39 is Transistor. From the team that brought us Bastion, Supergiant's latest indie RPG takes you to a world sprawling with bright neon lights and sinister delights. Join Red as she ventures into this colorful city to take vengeance on the person responsible for taking her voice. This action RPG deals with real-time combat. Stop the flow of time and use Red's sentient sword to take down enemies with precision and vibrance. It's so beautiful, light is sparkled all around the futuristic city. Visuals aside, it was lauded for its slick gameplay design and great soundtrack. It has a play score of 8.89. Number 38 is Divinity Original Sin. Larian Studios could prove worthy in your quest to find that perfect blend of adventure and good combat. Divinity Original Sin is unlike most RPGs, though it may share similar features to Baldur's Gate, Diablo, and other top-down games with the same elements, it's not afraid to show off its good points. In this game, it lets the players find who they are instead of following a generic story that's ham-fisted into most RPGs. The game's combat also feels so open and filled with possibilities. The game's primary feature lies in its use of the environment via magical abilities. It was very well received due to these features and it has a play score of 8.89. Number 37 is Sid Meier Civilization V. A name any self-respecting strategy enthusiast will surely recognize. Despite being released 6 years ago and all through the release of Civilization VI, it remains one of the most beloved gems in the turn-based 4X genre. While it was good in 2010, its continual patches and features allowed it to stand tall over the rest. Beginning with a few settlers from 4000 BC, sink a few thousand hours of your life ushering your nations into new generations after new generations. Create your own army, pillage other neighbors, collect resources, and watch your settlements become historic empires of the new world. Simple as the graphics may be, it still takes the spot for one of the best looking strategies out there. It has a play score of 8.9. Number 36 is Downwell. A Devolver digital game, this classic style platformer takes you on a dark descent into a mysterious well. Equipped with powerful gun boots, use your trusty weapons to vaporize enemies and collect treasures along the way, all in descending vertical fashion. Its procedurally generated world promises a new adventure in every fall. It promises a fresh challenge for challenge-seeking veterans. For a cheap price, you get to enjoy hours and hours of addicting content just by controlling a man falling down and down. It has a play score of 8.91. Number 35 is the Stanley Parable. It may or may not be a parable. It may also be not about Stanley, but more importantly, it's not always a game. It doesn't take itself seriously, and sometimes it does. Anyways, it's a first-person exploration game that's driven by a narrator and you. 
It's your prerogative to follow the rules or defy them. What you do in this story is all up to you. As ridiculous as it is, it's the game's strongest point. It lets players do unexpected things in the most unexpected ways. You just can't escape the game's creative dialogue. Whether you like it or not, this game might play you. It has a play score of 8.91. Number 34 is South Park The Stick of Truth. Trey Parker and Matt Stone won't be running out of ideas anytime soon. With South Park's newest game coming out this year, it's only a matter of time before we talk about the first real South Park video game. Stick of Truth was a success. Nobody expected a video game to tie in directly to the popular cartoon from Comedy Central. Follow the boys from South Park, Colorado as they embark on a fantasy-filled adventure involving the magical Stick of Truth. Be the new kid and forge your own path. It was very well received due to the amount of detail the South Park universe was known for. Even the animations, characters, and lore fit directly to the game. It has a play score of 8.92. Number 33 is Mini Metro. Dinosaur Polo Club's minimalist puzzle game lets you develop a bustling transit system across the game's multiple cities. Start from scratch and get to know each of the simple polygonal shapes scattered around the area. The game gets increasingly difficult in every city, in every minute of the day. How would you make an efficient transit system? That's all up to you. Revered for its minimalist visuals and chill music, Mini Metro is a recommended game for players who just want to casually build lines. Did we mention that the game makes you hate circles? Anyway, this game has a play score of 8.95. Number 32 is Mushi Hime-sama. At first glance, this game isn't what you'd expect on the list of PC's greatest games. But what you probably don't know is that this game is probably one of the core learning courses for the veteran and amateur shoot-em-up enthusiasts. It takes its origins on the PlayStation 2 era of 2005 and was ported to two other platforms before it ultimately arrived on the PC a decade after. Dive into their desert landscapes and lush forests, battle against their gigantic koju bugs, and try your hand against their colorful, hypnotic patterns. With three of their original game modes in full HD form, it's a bullet hell experience you'll keep coming back to. It has a play score of 8.96. Number 31 is what remains of Edith Finch. From the team that gave us the unfinished swan, take a step into the life of Edith Finch as she discovers the deep mystery between her family's death. Not necessarily a horror game, this first-person exploration game lets you solve beautiful puzzles and bask in a beautiful but haunting Washington estate. Mind-blowing and amazing, these are two recurring adjectives found on most of its reviews. The game is packed with superb storytelling and visuals so pleasing, it feels like you're inside its world. Help Edith Finch because this game has a play score of 8.96. Number 30 is Half-Life 2. Bet you wish I said 3, huh? While those chances are slim, there's one thing that won't change. Half-Life 2 is a universally loved game. So much so that over a decade after it was first released, fans are still clamoring for a continuation of their beloved FPS, becoming one of the most successful sequels in the history of sequels. Step into the shoes of Gordon Freeman, fighting for his survival in an apocalyptic alien-infested Earth, and struggling to redeem the world from a catastrophe he himself caused. With realistic physics, graphics, and AI for a game published in 2004, Half-Life 2 is a marvel in video game history. It has a play score of 8.96. Number 29 is Day of the Tentacle Remastered. Other than their eye-popping work in every Star Wars video game, if there's one other thing LucasArts is known for, it's their rib-tickling sequel to Ron Gilbert's Manic Mansion. Now revamped for the modern eyes, this remaster of the 1993 hit improves on the wacky hand-drawn visuals of the original with an HD facelift and a few audio tweaks. Partake in the mind-boggling misadventures of Dr. Fred and his world-dominating purple tentacle. Engage in their time-bending antics in trademark point-and-click fashion and travel through time with this 20-year-old cult classic. It has a play score of 8.97. Number 28 is Minecraft. Before Microsoft bought it, it was once a simple sandbox adventure developed by Mojang. It's a voxel-based survival adventure made for the creativity of the human mind. Build houses, survive, and craft the right tools for fun and relaxation. Its multiple modes encourage little kids and even adults to stimulate their imagination and build whatever they want. After Microsoft's purchase, it gained a huge following. It became one of the best-selling video games of this generation, and it's also a requirement to most children's schools. Want to know more about this game? Ask your little brother or sister, or even some of your friends. It has a play score of 8.97. Number 27 is Crypt of the Necrodancer, a stylish game that puts a colorful spin on the traditionally dark roguelike genre. 
Crypt of the Necrodancer takes you into the charming depths of caves and coupled with nice rhythmic twists. Dive into the world of the macabre as you take on the role of Cadence, a daughter of a famed treasure hunter who finds herself at the mercy of the evil Necrodancer. With your heart in his, you literally move to the beat, fighting monsters and collecting treasures in rhythm with your very own MP3 library. Crafted in the pixel fashion, it's a fun heart-pumping dungeon crawler with the makings of a classic. It has a play score of 8.98. Number 26 is Batman Arkham Asylum. This was the first superhero game to receive universal acclaim. Rocksteady's first take on the Batman mythos has exceeded everyone's expectations. Set in the notorious Arkham Asylum, follow Batman as he quarantines a serious threat made by the Joker. This signifies the beginning of an epic trilogy that molded the superhero genre into what it is today. Its slick combat, boss fights, and characters are so perfect, it feels like Bob Kane's legacy didn't go to waste. With voice actors like Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy, what more could he ask for? It has a play score of 8.98. Number 25 is Bioshock. Before there was a floating city, there was an underwater utopia where every man can be what they want. Irrational Games' first entry into the world of Bioshock is just getting started. Follow Jack as he finds himself stranded in the underwater city of Rapture. This first-person shooter harnesses fast-paced combat with engaging puzzle elements. Use specialized abilities called plasmids to gain an edge in survival. Levitate, incinerate, shoot, or freeze your enemies until you hear the beautiful words of Andrew Ryan. A man chooses, and a slave obeys. It has a play score of 8.98. Number 24 is The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. The legendary game that preceded the largely more popular fifth chapter, Skyrim. But before there was Skyrim, we gushed over their vibrant worlds, interactive environment, and captivating story even so far as calling it the pinnacle of gaming. Unlike Skyrim's dark and gritty world, Oblivion takes on the brighter side of medieval life with the green pastures and lively towns that'll help immerse yourself in their grand tale. While it's the older, less advanced title, there's still a whole lot to love about Oblivion, and a lot we miss in their recent installments. Put aside your aesthetic whims for once and take a dip into this epic masterpiece. It has a play score of 8.99. Number 23 is Shovel Knight. In the name of love, dig into a story of a brave and courageous knight with his trusty shovel. Save your beloved from an evil enchantress trapped in a mysterious castle. Use your signature weapons, take down enemies, solve puzzles, and get a grip of the game's unique platforming features. What started out as a simple Kickstarter campaign blew up to be one of the most successful indie games of this generation. Yacht Club Games even added two additional content for extra fun. It has a play score of 9. Number 22 is Pony Island. Here to change your perspectives on the majestic nature of ponies is Daniel Mullen's strange indie puzzler. Step cautiously into this eerie, metafictional game that seems to be aware of its existence as a game. While that usually leads to some funny breaking the fourth wall type interactions, this game takes the road less traveled, dealing a few bursts of psychological horror with a side of ardent curiosity. Jump over some hurdles, get to the finish line, earn huge amounts of experience, and find yourself in a spiral of despair. There's not much we can tell you without spoiling the beauty of the game, but most people agree that this is the most ingenious release last 2016. It has a play score of 9. At number 21 is The Wolf Among Us, Episode 1, Faith. Telltale games have come a long way to prove that they're good at making choice-driven episodic games. Their take on Bill Willingham's fables puts you into the shoes of the big bad wolf, set out on a big investigative journey about a mysterious killer on the loose. Meet mature fairy tale characters along the way and amass your judgment, depending on the choices provided. It's a dark tale about sex, drugs, and murder, covered in a layer of child-friendly stories. It's but the first of the five episodes Telltale offered, and it sparks huge controversy to its relevant themes and atmosphere. It has a play score of 9. Number 20 is Love for Dead 2. Eight years after their release in 2009, you can always still rely on Love for Dead 2 to bring you the intense joy of cooperative zombie killing. Despite the slightly outdated graphics, lack of levels, and special unlocks, it still remains as the forefront of multiplayer shooters for those exact reasons. Without the need for grinding levels or learning the mechanics of the game, absolutely anyone can join in on the fun. Get yourself a keyboard and smash some undead brains with their collection of randomized maps and campaigns. Simple, reliable, and highly replayable, the perfect formula for video game success, it has a play score of 9. Number 19 is Stardew Valley. While Nintendo isn't known for porting their games to the PC, Chucklefish decides to make a game similar to their popular Harvest Moon series. 
made by one guy, Stardew Valley takes you to a serene and laid-back town where people are people. Inherit your grandpa's farmstead and grow it to become your personal utopia. The game skyrocketed to the Steam charts upon release. It gained so much respect due to its massive content at such a reasonable price. With its success, it's out on almost every console, including the Switch. We can't wait for its upcoming multiplayer update. It has a play score of 9.03. Number 18 is Nuclear Throne. Here's a post-apocalyptic tale you haven't seen before. This time, the last hope of humanity has long gone, leaving the world with a population of tough mutant creatures ready to take each other out. Join in the radioactive fray and step inside their 16-bit world full of top-down shooting fun. Pick from their diverse lineup of characters, experiment with each of their skills and abilities, and master the cracks and crevices of their procedurally generated world. Its perfect blend of action and roguelike keeps gameplay fresh and exciting. Much like any roguelike game, its tough as nail stages will reward anyone who's up to the challenge. Play it alone or with a friend. It has a play score of 9.04. Number 17 is The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, the latest and hopefully not the last title in The Elder Scrolls franchise. Even before a series of remasters and port to the Switch, it has seen a milestone of success among many hardcore gamers. Boasting a dark medieval fantasy full of magic and dragons who wouldn't willingly pour in hundreds of hours in their gorgeous open world. Choose your side among the warring factions of Skyrim and fulfill your role as the legendary Dragonborn. Or you can make a name for yourself in their various guilds and create your own family. As old as it is, the game is continually made fresh by its thriving mod communities. It has a play score of 9.04. Number 16 is Batman Arkham City. After the groundbreaking success of The Asylum, Rocksteady's sequel takes your favorite Cape Crusader to an open-world adventure in the heart of Gotham City. Follow Batman once more in his crusade to stop criminals from tearing the city apart. With its enhanced gameplay and open-world experience, glide around the city using your high-powered Batman gadgets and apprehend the iconic characters from his rogues gallery. This was the highest-rated Arkham game in the trilogy. It was praised for its huge improvement over the previous game, especially the combat. The story, characters, and ending are also so memorable. It has a play score of 9.04. Number 15 is Borderlands 2. The first Borderlands was great from the get-go, but this second title just improved on the original in all the important ways. The open-world FPS welcomes you back into the brash, cell-shaded world of Pandora, now packed with a whole new story and an upgraded class system. But if you've come for their rugged yet stunning visuals and random-generated loot, you'll stay for the series' trademark brand of humor. While they've taken a turn to a more dark and gritty narrative, their well-written enemies and side characters are always ready to step in. With tougher enemies, just make sure you have a friend over. It has a play score of 9.05. Number 14 is The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. After the success of Macmillan's popular Flash game, its Steam release breathed new life to this creepy roguelike adventure. With his mom under the spell of a dubious divine intervention, Isaac's in danger of being slain as a sacrifice. It's a game of biblical proportions known for its challenging rooms, harsh permadeaths, and eerily adorable visuals. Help Isaac escape his deadly fate by sneaking out through his monster-infested basement. Conquer hundreds of dungeons and fed off creatures with your cowardly tears. Be careful though, one wrong move will take you right back to square one. Mommy's waiting. It has a play score of 9.06. Number 13 is XCOM Enemy Unknown. Filling the recent void of turn-based strategies, Firaxis pays tribute to 1994's cult classic, UFO Enemy Unknown, in this 2012 release. Set during Earth's near-future alien invasion, you take the helm of an elite military organization tasked with protecting the planet from their Martian invaders. Master their grid-based arenas and plan the perfect raid to eliminate each of your enemies. As the head of the organization, you'll also have to research and develop the next best technology to rival their alien tech. Just like the original, XCOM has been praised for their tactical depth, story, and solid gameplay. It has a play score of 9.09. Number 12 is Company of Heroes. Released in 2006, Relic Entertainment's Company of Heroes was dubbed as the best military-themed real-time strategy. And while many games have come close, not even if this generation comes close to the perfection that the game achieved. Its focus on tactics-based gameplay over the size and quantity of your army makes it one of the most accurate war simulations of the decade and of recent times. It's a strategy game where strategy actually matters. Manage each of your vehicles and raise your soldiers' morale. 
Even with just 15 missions, it offers you an extraordinary amount of variety and content that will satisfy you for hours and years to come. It has a play score of 9.1. Number 11 is Gunpoint. For international spies, stealth is their greatest asset. Much more so in this indie puzzle platformer from Suspicious Developments. With its old-school detective suit, jazzy soundtrack, and noir-like atmosphere, you might be expecting a typical criminal investigation. But with his signature suaveness and pixel charm, Richard Conway is no ordinary man. A world-class spy, help him infiltrate buildings with his high-tech gadgets that would make James Bond jealous. Open up doors, turn off lights, and hack some security cameras using your valuable cross-link device. With challenging one-shot kills, find the best course of action, and try not to get your hands dirty. It has a play score of 9.1. At number 10 is Towerfall Ascension. If you're not familiar, you might be wondering how an unknown platformer got on PC's 10 best games. But to the folks who played it, they'll know exactly why. This 8-bit beauty takes on the charm of Left 4 Dead 2's co-op-friendly formula to bring us an immensely fun platformer that's perfect for some couch party fun. Become the last archer standing in their merciless dungeon arenas, survive a barrage of fiery arrows, and steal some for yourself. While there's hundreds of other games that offer co-op fun, there's just nothing like beating your opponent with their own arrows. It has received astounding success with critics praising its Smash Brothers-like balance. It has a play score of 9.12. Number 9 is Metal Gear Solid 5: The Phantom Pain. You feel it too, don't you? The pain. The emptiness. It emptiness. Final Metal Gear Solid game concludes Big Boss's story. Follow Venom Snake as he exacts his vengeance to the people responsible for his downfall. Immerse in the game's massive open-world design and seamless emergent gameplay. Sneak, infiltrate, trank, fulton, hide in boxes, etc. Overt or covert, the game adapts to your playstyle. Although it was met with universal acclaim, some players are calling it an incomplete mess. Nevertheless, with <laughs> touch of cleverness, it gave us one of the best gameplays in Metal Gear history. It has a play score of 9.13. Number 8 is Ori in the Blind Forest. Ori has proved itself to be one of the most splendidly created gems of recent times. With its effervescent world, graceful controls, and chanting narrative, it takes us deep into its unforgettable lore. Take control of the guardian spirit Ori and his friend Sign as they conquer the puzzles of their vast fantastical world using their individual abilities. It's hailed as one of the greatest Metroidvanias of this generation. Known for its tremendous difficulty, its elegant design and heartwarming story is wholly capable of easing all our doubts and frustrations. It has a play score of 9.14. Number 7 is Dishonored. Bethesda and Arcane Studios isn't going easy when it comes to the ultimate stealth adventure experience. Play as Corvo Atano, a man caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Follow his journey as he vindicates himself from a crime he did not commit. This first-person action adventure utilizes the gift of stealth. Unleash your devastating supernatural powers to exact vengeance on these poor souls, or finish the game without a single kill. Its open-ended approach to the story lets you make your own decisions with moral integrity. And that's what makes Dishonored such an amazing game. It has a play score of 9.15. Number 6 is Rayman Legends. Everyone's favorite disembodied adventure comes back for another round of monstrous hijinks. The fifth main title in their well-loved series, it takes place after the events of Rayman Origins in a time when the Bubble Dreamers have grown and multiplied. The limbless protagonist returns with all new levels, as well as Rayman 2's green bottle companion, Murphy. Continue on with the co-op craze and bring along up to three of your friends into its frenzied foray. Legends also features a new mode that literally lets you throw punches at enemies while grooving to the beat of their rhythm-based maps. It has a play score of 9.16. Number 5 is Mark of the Ninja. Another stealth-based indie platformer, Mark of the Ninja takes you on the everyday adventures of Japan's elite mercenaries. Prove your worth as a ninja and maneuver past the game's collection of tricky traps and highly alert guards. Show off your innate agility and vulpine cleverness to outwit foes in every stage. Pay attention to the noise you make and use the shadows to your advantage. It's a game that rewards you for your intelligent choices giving you points for bloodless clears as well as your stealthy massacres. With their smart mechanics and impressive visuals, Mark of the Ninja is easily one of the most rewarding stealth experiences out there. It has a play score of 9.17. Number 4 is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Step on an unforgettable adventure as players control Geralt of Rivia and his quest to find the Child of Prophecy. Its massive open world is full of details and things to do, and it's also a great screenshot simulator. 
Mix potions, craft items, cast signs, bang sorceresses, and create runes in the game's deep and rewarding RPG system to eviscerate monsters and kill humans. Be the judge, jury, and executioner with your two signature swords. A Guinness Book record holder for being the only game with so many awards, this is CD Projekt Red's way of sending off one of the best video games out there. It has a play score of 9.24. Number 3 is Mass Effect 2. BioWare's sequel after the success of the first game takes you to another adventure in Commander Shepard's story. Memes aside, this second entry improves the franchise in all fronts. Combat, abilities, and its semi-open world elements are greatly improved. After the events of the first game, follow Shepard and his ragtag team of badass aliens to stop a mysterious threat concerning the Reapers. Praised for its memorable characters and an unforgettable story, this is one of what to play's favorite games in the Citadel. It has a play score of 9.28. Number 2 is Bioshock Infinite. We talked about the notorious underwater city, now Irrational Games' new lighthouse floats to the sky. Enter the city of Columbia and step into the shoes of Booker DeWitt, a man who just wants to get rid of his troubled past by fulfilling a mysterious debt with Elizabeth. In a weird turn of events, you're given the ability to burn, levitate, and tear enemies. Soar into the air, shoot enemies, and feel the adrenaline-pumping first-person action to Bioshock's final installment. Watch how it seamlessly weaves into the game's main storyline and get your mind blown. It has a play score of 9.32. And the best PC game of all time is none other than Portal 2. As if there was any doubt. Okay, maybe some. But with its ongoing presence in Valve's other titles and vast collection of industry accolades, there's really no questioning Portal 2's place in video game history. Hell, even Valve CEO and part-time god Gabe Newell chooses Portal 2 over the PC's precious Half-Life series. Immerse in the life of Shell, roam around the mind-bending Aperture Labs, and inevitably fall in love. Of course, with its intelligently designed physics-based puzzles, memorable characters, and brilliant humor, they create a trio of unforgettable experiences. The cake might be a lie, but the greatness of Portal 2 definitely isn't. Take a friend with you. It has a play score of 9.44. You may get these games right now by clicking the links below.